up guys it's your boy phone tech review another video and this one guys i'm going to be comparing an iphone se on ios 11.4.1 to an iphone se on ios 10.3.3 so as always stay right, guys gonna put up both devices here that's running 11.4.1 that's running 10.3.3 on the right so usually guys this is the fastest device when it comes to winning up ios device i mean at least from the ones i've been testing on this channel so let's see if 11.4.1 will be faster than 10.3.3 because ios 12 is clearly slower Oh wow, okay guys, so I slept 4.1 was actually faster, though the difference was like a millisecond or so, so let's say it's a troll here. Now guys, jumping into the phones. So it was actually smoother in iOS 10. Right guys, so both phones here have nothing in the background, so let's start with calendar. That was actually faster in iOS, animation-wise, everything was faster in iOS 11 stuff, photos. Faster in 11 as well, camera, are the same. Maps. That was identical. Clock, faster than 11. Weather, about the same. 11 was faster. Good stuff there going for news. 11, phone dialer. That was actually faster than 11. Good stuff there. Safari, and both on Apple.com. And that was clearly faster than iOS 10. I'm gonna click on buy. iOS 11 is done, going for settings, about the same, now guys going for App Store, so I think it was faster than iOS 10, iTunes, definitely iOS 10, now guys jumping to some third party apps, we're gonna start with Geekbench 4, so both phones were super fast, Instagram, and that was slightly faster on iOS 10. Good stuff there. YouTube. Both are super fast. iOS 10 was faster loading. Jetpack Joyride. And that was slightly faster on iOS 10. I mean, guys, SE seems like one of the least devices that's affected by iOS 11. eBay. About the same. Both were super fast. Yelp. Subway Surfers. Only bar appeared first in iOS 10. And okay, so the difference was um, almost nothing. So iOS 11 did catch up at the very end, so Temperant 2. So I'm just gonna click on cancel here. Yep, so uh, uh, actually IS10 was faster. Google Earth, slightly faster than IS10. Going for Snapchat, faster than 10. So in general, IS10 is faster, guys, but the difference is really small, so you won't really notice, notice anything at all. And now, guys, gonna go for some multitasking. Let's see if. Uh, SE and iOS 11 is so good, the 11.4.1 is so good because uh, iPhone 6 has had to refresh a lot of apps. So calendar, no problem. Photos, clock, maps, had to refresh, that's sad. Clock, had to refresh as well. Weather, wow, again, a refresh on iOS 11.4.1. News, a refresh as well. Stocks, had to refresh. Wow, guys, so it's not with the success only. iOS uh, SE is refreshing as well. Safari. Phone, Settings, App Store, iTunes Store, Geekbench 4, onto the benchmark. So it refresh. it refreshes on every single device basically, so it's okay. Instagram, YouTube, Jetpack Joyride, eBay, Good Performance, Yelp, Subway Surfers, Temperant 2, took some time, but actually didn't refresh, good stuff. Google Earth. And finally, Snapchat. Right, guys, so uh, iOS 11.4.1 wasn't as bad as on the 6S, but it had to refresh some apps. So definitely, iOS 10.3.3 is better when it comes to RAM management. Right, guys, now going for Geekbench 4 test. All right, guys, both phones are done here. I want to say that iOS 11.4.1 on the SE 
did score better than, than Tempo 3.3. Unlike other devices, I've been comparing to good stuff here in the SE, so they didn't really give a treat to the SE good stuff. Uh, that's on Tempo 3.3. And definitely, guys, better multi and single core. So that's amazing. Good stuff to see here, at least on one iOS device. So SE is really doing good here. I see, guys, that this phone lost only 4% throughout the test and list. This lost 13%. So there's some difference, though this phone has almost nowhere level, this has, has some, so uh, if both phones were to be in perfect condition, this phone would lose 4% anyway, but this would lose like 8 to 9%. So there's some difference. On the long run, if you're using your phone, you can definitely feel a difference. That battery downgrade on 11, sadly. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison between these two beasts. So I want to say, guys, that... Uh, iOS 11.4.1 was super fast on iOS and iPhone SE. There's no difference, there's no downgrade. The RAM management, it had to refresh three apps on 11, 10 didn't refresh anything at all. Um, battery life, guys, definitely better. So iOS 10 is still better with battery life. There is some difference, you're gonna notice it. But when it comes to speed, both are super fast. Multitasking, guys, I mean, uh, throughout out of like 15 or 20 apps, it had to refresh three, so the difference is not big. Uh, like, uh, however, as you and I have sent it refresh anything at all, everything was in the memory. So, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more content and peace.